let's begin the session spring boot rest web services and also we are going to including data jpa and finally we are going to covering unit test cases for this project okay sir we are going to using j unit 5 with marketo framework fantastic sir okay sir sir in the market we have different service providers available for implementing rest web services right like jocks rs jersey okay but here uh, we are using spring framework spring framework internally providing rest web services right so that module only we are going to using that features we are going to using spring will providing rest web services module okay we have separate uh, api you can observe the docs okay that module only we are going to using here this is a fantastic course sir if you learn this one you will be king in your it industry for a java developer right now everybody using spring boot rest data jpa jnit with marketo or some of the uh, people using um, spark framework right if you know jnit 5 first then later marketo then later spark framework any one of the concept if you know then test cases also it will be very easy right don't fear i am here with you okay superb sir first learn theory then i will teach you practical also okay http method sir we have uh, get post put patch delete so get is nothing but something uh, you're going to fetching some of the information from the server post is nothing but something you are going to sending information to the server right like uh, creating a object so we can use this scenario post okay so getting some of the object uh, details uh, from the server you can use get right like that we have put put is nothing but something you are going to updating uh, that particular object right you are going to sending some of the information to the server for updating purpose right and patch is nothing but if you want small changes required to updating purpose for small changes partial change partial object you are going to uh, updating some of the small changes only small changes for that time you are going to using patch right instead of using put for small changes you are going to using what's a patch right for small changes or some of the partial content if you want updating so you are going to using what's a patch right superb sir here delete method right delete is nothing but uh, some of the uh, content you are going to deleting right you are going to sending information to the server for deleting this id you have to, uh, this id related object you have to delete so it, it is going to deleting right this is what sir http method scenarios get post put patch delete right superb sir you learned http methods next if you observe annotations which we are going to using in our spring boot rest data jpa project okay sir observe i already explained number of times but in this uh, in this course i am going to giving to you a brief introduction for these annotations right now everybody using uh, um, this tag only in the it industry as a java developer if you learn this one it is very very good to you okay sir superb see here the rate of rest controller of course 
uh, it is a combination of controller plus uh, at the rate of response body right see what is mean by here uh, controller so so indicating it as a controller class right we can say that is what's a at the rate of controller but if you if you annotate it with a rate of rest controller look at this scenario one of the example see public class fruit rest controller if you annotating this annotation on the top of particular uh, controller class using this a rate of rest controller and we can say this scenario this is a rest controller class and it is a combination of a rate of controller and a rate of response body so what is mean by here a rate of response body here uh, if you observe a method this method is going to return some of the value should be bound to the web response body right should be bound to the web response body a method a method return value should be bound to the web response body this is nothing but what sir a rate of response body okay sir if you annotated with a rate of rest controller internally a rate of controller and a rate of response body automatically it will provide right if you annotated with a rate of rest controller it will use a rate of controller and a rate of response body a rate of controller is nothing but it is going to indicating like uh, this is what's a controller class hey this is controller class like that it will be used meaning right a rate of rest controller it is class level we are going to using look at this example root rest controller on top of class level only we just annotated a rate of rest controller right clear if anybody in the interview ask right what is mean by a rate of rest controller you have to explain like this take one of the example and you have to explain like this the interviewer will be very happy i asked a number of the persons i asked but nobody tell clarity about this one at least you have to explain one line also okay it's good and if you are taking example it is very good right don't forget this concept okay sir superb see at the rate of request mapping is nothing but we are going to using class level as well as method level also we can use so what happens sir whenever you are going to using at the rate of request mapping right it is used to map request to the controller methods right we are going to using con uh, rest control right so our controller we are going to using so that time it is going to map request to the methods controller methods right we are going to using controller class and and that one methods we are using so it is going to map request to the controller methods right you understand right so this is what sir at the rate of request mapping superb sir and method level if you observe method level so get mapping post mapping put mapping patch mapping delete mapping just now we we are discussed to ttp methods right so those only if you observe those only we are just using here okay see get mapping post mapping right these are uh, like a uh, type of http methods and we are going to using annotation level on top of method level right see observe these these annotations if you observe at this uh, top of method see post mapping right get mapping you can uh, just observe in the diagram right these annotation on top of method only we are going to using see method level annotation post mapping get mapping put mapping patch mapping delete mapping so these are going to we are going to using 
on top of methyl level right but if you observe if you annotating uh, this annotation at the rate of post mapping right internally it will be uh, used to like at the rate of request mapping and method equals to request method dot post right so like this it will be used internally right so whenever using uh, get mapping and internally what it will use at the rate of request mapping and method equals to request method dot get like this it will use right this is what sir uh, what's in as a method level using annotations you can use get or post to put to patch delete according to your scenario right you can use it superb sir clear so right now i am not explaining practically first learn these concept theory wise then later i will explain practically superb sir and uh, see if you observe in this uh, fruit save method we are using what sir inside this method we are going to using what sir at, at the rate of request body right we are going to passing one of the object here fruit fruit right see input request in the methods that means here this is the method inside this method we are going to uh, using what sir input request in the methods in rest controller class this is rest controller class right inside this rest control class we have one method and inside this method we are going to passing input request right in the methods right so if you observe we are going to using at the rate of request body so what it will does uh, at the rate of request body see a method parameter should be bound to the what sir body of the web request right whenever using a the rate of request body so what will happen a method parameter a method parameter should be bound to the body of the web request right if you observe request header right request header also available what is what is uh, this request header uh, so this annotation are uh, used to binding a request header to a method right this annotation it will be used for a binding a request header to a method argument in a controller right if it is a rest controller controller class right so it is going to binding a request header to a method to a method argument right to a method argument here is nothing but in the controller going to use right see that is what's a request header generally uh, in request header uh, content type uh, like um, we are going to using right headers so like that one of the scenario i will i will, I will teach you to you practically okay right now but you, you can observe uh, these annotation we are going to using where sir input request in the method in rest controller class right see this is the method inside uh, this method input request in the methods in rest controller class see these annotation you can observe this line in this situation only we are going to using these annotations request header right this annotation it is used to a binding request header to a method argument right header to a method argument in a controller this is what sir request header superb sir and if you observe uh, request param right see so it is used to uh, bind a servlet request parameters like um, query parameters or form data to a method argument in a controller see this is method sir if you observe this is inside this method method argument is nothing but what sir this we can find a fruit or you can just assume okay right 
so what's what happens a uh, data request parameter whenever using like we are using here a data request param instead of request body we are going to using a data request param so what it will does uh, it is going to binding a survey request parameters uh, here uh, request parameters is nothing but query parameters or form data assume anything to a particular method argument to a particular method argument in a controller in a rest controller which we can use what's a data request param right for this purpose we are going to using right superb sir and next thing a data path variable this path variable what what it will does sir so a method parameter should be bound to the value of uri template right value of your template variable see if you are using postman or uh, something uh, swagger you ua or you can observe there you are you going to using path variable right here at which location sir path variable you are going to using here instead of a request body you are going to using path variable see these annotations we are going to going to use inside this method right input request in the method in rest controller class superb sir a method parameter should be bound to the value of your template variable right uri right uri url what is uri what is url i already explained number of times but i am not uploaded those videos okay let it be sir so these these annotation input request in the method in rest controller class we are going to using right look at this example so by seeing this diagram only you can understand right so clear and of course whenever using path variable static and dynamic way we are going to using but i will teach to you that practically later okay so these are the major annotations uh, which we are going to using in our spring boot rest data jpa project right see look at this uh, diagram how beautiful see rest control at class level we are using and uh, see request mapping uh, it is going to uh, map right it is going to what sir it is going to map request to controller methods right and uh, if you observe method level see these annotation at uh, at uh, on top of fruit save method only we are going to using and these annotations request pair and path variable request at the request body these annotations uh, which we are going to using in the uh, some of the example if you see fruit save method instead this uh, uh, method only input request in the method that means right input request in the method in rest controller class we are going to using these are controller class right these annotation we are going to using clear these annotations very very important right even interview perspective also everybody will ask what is rest controller what is request mapping what is different between path variable and address of request param right so at least you have to explain single line also it is uh, good if if you are explaining taking uh, example as well as uh, some of the description if you explain it is very very good it is up to you okay just explain to the interviewer if anybody ask these questions right superb sir fine so next if you observe annotations behavior look at this scenario see a data request param if you observe http local host 2023 and this is what sir uh, question mark key equal to value and key equal to value if you are using um, like right request param two times if you are using so like this it will be used right in the postman or swagger ui or anything um, testing rest web services right any tool will be there so this behavior will happen in the address bar if you observe see and here also path variable see look at this path variable forward slash it is going to using forward slash value 
ओके एंड हियर एट द रेट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट हेडर इज नथिंग बट की इक्वल टू वैल्यू की वैल्यू पेयर्स सी हेडर पैरामीटर लाइक कंटेंट टाइप एक्सेप्ट राइट लाइक कंटेंट टाइप जेसन और एक्सएमएल एनी एनी ऑफ द टाइप राइट सो रिक्वेस्ट बॉडी लुक एट दिस वन सी open braces curly braces in this only we are going to sending some of the json request object or anything xml object so like this it will be used this these annotation behavior like this see some of the uh, annotation request parameter is using query see uh, query parameters like uh, question mark right superbs but whenever using path variable forward slash value it is going to using and here key equal to value again here after query after question mark key equal to value it is going to using whenever using a request param right superbs so this is uh, behavior of the these annotations right super the next if you observe http status sir 100 if you using 100 onwards to 199 it is uh, looks like informational related thing right this status http status is nothing but information related things and uh, 200 to 299 right 200 to 299 it is going to uh, success scenarios related it will use right 300 series is nothing but redirect right and 400 series is nothing but client side error and 500 is nothing but server side error 500 series 500 501 five, 599 these status related to status uh, server side error 400 series like 400 to 499 client side error and 300 to 399 redirect and 200 to 299 success scenario related series like that you can assume right 100 series is nothing but information related right simple you can uh, just uh, keep it in your mind and practically of course uh, practically we, we can see some of the http status how we can return right to the end user when i'm using exception handling okay sir superb see this is what's a data jpa the next we are going to using data jpa so data jpa is nothing but here uh, it support um, jpql as well as native query also so simple uh, i explained a number of times this data jpa but here creating a simple thing creating interface and using we are using what's a jpa repository see example also i just written see interface root repository and it is going to extends jpa repository just watch spring boot data rest api i already created playlist okay two times i think i explained there you can watch it and come back to here right clear this is what sir a great course and in the next videos i will explain practically all these scenarios and also i will include unit test case right for this respective project i am going to writing unit test cases with whatsapp mockto framework and jnet5 right super so we are going to in integrating whatsapp jnet5 with mockto framework super fine keep practicing this is j good night